Hey folks, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be looking at extracting hyperlinks from cell text in Google Sheets. To do this, we're going to be basically using the rich text value class and Google Apps Script. Recently, I was making a collection of all my Medium articles and basically I copied the links and uh, stored them in my Google Sheet like you can see here. So basically I do this because I like to keep a track of all the community contributions I do on my level, be it through articles and stuff. So I built this Google Sheet and after that I wanted to extract the links from the cell text and paste them into the adjacent column. So uh, to do this, we're going to be using the rich text value class, which we'll be understanding right now. So the rich text value class in Google Apps Script enables advanced text formatting in Google Sheet. It supports various styles, including bold, italic, colored, as well as links. So this class basically helps developers like you and me create and manage richly formatted text, enhancing the visual appeal and functionality of spreadsheet content. Um, and you can see this documentation here. If you want to know, if you want to know more about the rich text value class, you can check out the link in the description and yeah. So this is my sample Google sheet for now that contains all my articles that I've uploaded on medium with the date here. And the goal is going to be extracting these links and pasting them into the URL here. So I'm just going to launch up my Google app script editor by going to extensions and clicking on app script. Now that we are in our Google app script editor, I'm going to be opening up a new function here and I'm going to give it a name that's going to be extract and paste links so this is my function that go that's going to be extracting all the links from the cell text and pasting them into the adjacent column so we're going to be doing variable sheet and i'll be doing a spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet here after which we'll get the active sheet and there are different ways that you can basically grab a sheet you can get by name by id and more and after this i will be getting the uh, last row that is so I'm gonna be doing that using the last row function so I'm just gonna start off by variable last row and I'm gonna be doing sheet dot get last row now we have used the get last row function to get the last row that contains the data in the Google sheet so it returns a number which later helps us in iterating over all the rows in or all the rows with data inside of our Google sheet after which we'll be opening up a new for loop inside which I'll do variable i equal to 2 and um, i has to be less than equal to the last row that contains the data and we'll be just going, we'll be just incrementing up so it's i plus plus and inside this we're going to be starting off by creating a new variable called cell inside which I'm going to be doing sheet dot get range and i comma 2 oops, open it up and it's going to be i comma two after which I'm going to be doing variable rich text value this is where we're going to be fetching the values here we're going to be doing cell dot get rich text value now that we have the boundary for the loop that we extracted previously using the get last row function we now have created a loop that starts from the second row and iterates through each row until the last row with data and the reason why we begin from row two is because we want to avoid the headers, right? And inside the loop, we have, we have, we will be going through the column B. We'll be getting that range and we'll be passing the current row. That's going to be I. And after which we use the rich text value class to extract the content and formatting details of the cell from this particular variable, you will have the formatting and the style of the particular cell. Once we're done with that, we'll be opening up a if loop here. I have to do an if loop for the rich text value. So if rich text value is not null or undefined, ensuring that there is rich text to process, it will move forward to the next part of the code. That's going to be variable runs. I'm going to be doing rich text value dot get runs. Now, what is runs? Assuming that there is the there is rich text content, we use the get runs function to retrieve the runs of the text from the rich text value. So runs are basically a segment of text within the cell, each having different formattings or different linked URLs and more. And after this loop, we go on to creating a last for loop. We created a nested loop here and we do variable j equal to zero. We go for 
j has to be less than the runs dot length and in the end it's going to be a j plus plus now inside this loop is where we're going to be basically fetching our url so i'm going to do variable url equal to runs j and inside this i'm going to do get link url so this is where we are basically getting the exact url from the links so this is a nested loop and we iterate through each of the runs obtained from the rich text value and then for each of them we fetch the link url now after which we open up one final for, for loop inside which you have url so we again we check if the url variable is null or undefined and if it's not it's going to be running the next part of the code where we're going to be setting the values back to the sheet so we're going to be doing sheet dot get range here inside which i'll be doing i3 because we have to paste this into the third column that's going to be column c and we'll be doing a set value function here and inside this set value one we'll be passing the url variable and after this i'm just going to be adding a break statement here so it can stop after the first url is found i'm just going to format this document to make it look like this right and uh, now that we have this our code is ready and good to go and um, i think we can go ahead and check out the output i'm going to first of go ahead and give this a name i'm going to say extract links i'm going to click on save and our project is renamed we have everything ready and good to go we can go ahead and click on run and see the output you have to start by giving up some permissions and once you are done with that your code will be ready and good to go Here you can see in about a few seconds the execution started and it's over and if I go back to my Google Sheet here you can see it has successfully extracted all the links from the articles if I just make this a bit smaller you can see all the links have successfully been extracted from the articles using Google Apps Script. So in conclusion by leveraging Google Apps Script we can efficiently extract URLs from cell text in Google Sheet. This functionality is especially valuable for managing and organizing large data sets where links are embedded in cell content. So this approach not only saves time, but it also enhances data accuracy and accessibility. You can check out the code by checking out the GitHub link in the description. If you, I'll be leaving the Google Sheet link in the description. You can check that out. Uh, if you like this video, then don't forget to like, share, and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.